Hey, hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this. It is a midweek moment, midweek moment brought to you by uh, brought to you by nothing in particular. And uh, Pastor Doug Given here with you from St. Andrews Lutheran and Speedway. St. Andrews and Speedway located where, Doug? Ah, it's across from the McDonald's on Crawfordsville, the main drive, Crawfords, Crawfordsville Road. St. Andrews and Speedway services are at 11 a.m. And then also Faith Lutheran and Avon, which right now is at 9 a.m. Faith Lutheran and Avon, west of Avon Avenue or 267, uh, has services at 9. You're welcome to join us. As you uh, watch this midweek moment, as I have said before, please consider sharing this on your own social media pages if you have them, uh, or you know, pass it on to some friends and family or neighbors. Again, not because of me or anything spectacular that I'm saying, but to promote the churches and maybe gain others to come and join us in worship at St. Andrews or in faith. This is called the Midweek Moment midweek moment, a creative and um, highly sought after name uh, for a couple of minutes of encouragement for us as we journey along uh, in life. And as you're journeying, aware that Thanksgiving is a week away, a week away, a week away. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I, I, I distracted myself. <laughs> Nobody else is here. And I did that all on my own. A wing a wop a wing a wop of the lion sleeps tonight. The whole song just came into my head. Uh, as we're a week away from Thanksgiving, and then uh, a month after that is Christmas, and we're overwhelmed and carrying a lot of stuff. Much of the stuff, I'm talking about emotions, stress, tension. Um, maybe you're dealing with an illness or somebody in your family is. Maybe you're just personally overwhelmed and it's the holidays and it's life. I get it. I'm in there with you. Uh, I've been thinking about carrying things and how I carry my things myself lately in my own life. I mean, I uh, uh, I just recently got this carrier, this little crate with an, with an opening in it. And what I was attempting to do this past week is put this in my passenger seat. And then I can reach in there and get what I need because I carry with me in my driving around, you know, tissue and mints, um, Altoids and pens and pencils and paper and uh, what else? Um, you know, uh, Tylenol or something for tummy aches and it just have a bunch of stuff. And it turns out that this is a little hard to work with in the passenger seat. So I, I needed something that's more open. So I really couldn't carry with that. Uh, prior prior to that, then I, I ordered these on Amazon. Uh, I think uh, I saw it on TikTok. Uh, this couple comes on and they say, uh, things that we've tried that you can't live without so that you don't have to try them. So this is the gripper to help you carry things. Much like that might carry my personal items, the gripper goes like this. You grip your bag like that. And I there's two of them. Now, if if you're watching this and this seems like a terrific idea and you could really use it, just let me know. Because I got, it came in a two pack. So I have four of these and I haven't really tried them yet. But the idea is like if you're grocery shopping, then you could hang another bag on here, maybe even two. And this gripper would enable you to carry into the house four bags pretty easily, right? The gripper. Arr. Hello? Uh, see, uh, once again, I digress. Anyway, so carrying your bags of groceries in, you could get the gripper from Amazon. You could get a crate like that from Target to put into your passenger seat. It doesn't really work for me. And uh, now I have a, a carrying case. Now these are, you know, I have shown you before. I have this little, you're not gonna be able to see it. I didn't prep well. That says pass it on. It's been up there for a few maybe months now because I'm lazy. Uh, but I have, um, this is a way to carry the letters that go in that. So you you may not be able to tell, but it's all the different letters are categorized. So the letters, the carrying case, in order to change my write-on sign that's by my door on the way out, 
which you can't really see. That's another way to carry those letters. So there's all these creative different ways to carry our physical things in the world, right? But what about the emotional, spiritual uh, stuff? And I want to invite you to prayerfully reflect with me on one of my favorite verses and yours too, Matthew eleven twenty eight. The production team was hard at work. Look at that. Matt eleven twenty eight. Matt eleven twenty eight. Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty eight. Okay, it says. Now this is the Good News Bible, so a, a looser translation. But listen to this. Think about this now and prayerfully wonder about what you're carrying emotionally and maybe spiritually. Spiritually, we never feel like we're good enough. We never do enough. We don't. We aren't enough. There's a, a it's really from, from Satan or from, from a non-God source that pulls us down. Uh, I'm not good enough. You're not good enough. You say to yourself, I am. Uh, no one likes me. I, I don't do this well. I don't do that well. We self-defeat at the highest level, uh, and it's not of God, is what I'm saying. It's not of God. This is of God. You pick up your Bible, you open it up to Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, and you read, and you highlight, and you underline this verse, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come to me, says Jesus. Come to me, all of you who are carrying a heavy load and are tired of it. I mean, are you tired, my friends? Huh? Feel a little tired? Come to me, all you that are tired from carrying a heavy load, and I will give you rest. <sighs> Says the Lord, I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on and learn from me, says the Lord. The yoke is a, a quick example would be like the, the harness that oxen wear when you're farming with an oxen, if you've ever seen that. This huge harness that goes around the neck. I suppose they're, they're, those harnesses are also on horses, but that's the idea of what this is about. Take my yoke and learn from me because, because says the Lord, listen, I am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest. So here we are, bogged down, overwhelmed by the holidays, daily living, life around us, the international wars, the news, the politics, like I've been saying on Sundays, come to me, says the Lord, all of you who are tired and heavily burdened and are carrying heavy loads, same thing, I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me, for I, I, says the Lord, am gentle, gentle. It's not just a cycle on your dryer, my friends. Gentle. It's not a bear from a TV show back in the 60s. No. Gentle. Easygoing. Uh, and I'm humble in spirit, meaning I'm going to think of you first. And I will give you rest. For the yoke I give you, says the Lord, is easy. And the load I'll put on you is light. Easy and light, as though there's a Lord, uh, a load rather that comes from the Lord at all in any case. But it's going to be easy and light. I will give you rest, says the Lord. So if you're carrying a heavy load, no matter which way you go, you know, no matter what you do in terms of the physical world, let that go. For the spiritual world, let it go. In the emotional world, let it go. Deep breath. Breathe in the gift of God. Let God carry your load. Let God in Christ be your gripper to grip all the stuff that you're dealing with and let it go. Get it off your chest and be ready in everything the Bible says, give thanks. So it's not just the fourth Thursday, but it's right now, today. Give thanks to God for God's promise of Jesus in our midst. And let the Lord carry all of your heavy burdens, because you and I can't do it. And may you find peace in the midst of all of that. Uh, and may God give you a rich blessing today, uh, saying to you, 
let me have the burdens of your life. Let me have the, the yoke that you're putting upon yourself because you self-defeat and the self-loathing. And let me carry that. And you take my load because it's going to be light and easy. Because all it means, the load I think the Lord would give us is love. Just love. You're loved so deeply, my friend. God loves you, and so do I. If you need anything at all, uh, give me a call. Let me know. I'd like to continue to remind you of, of any pertinent announcements, but um, Faith Lutheran has a food pantry uh, Saturday morning, and volunteers are always welcomed. Um, St. Andrews, for those in the Speedway community or for you in, in Avon that want to come over, on Sunday night, the 19th, at five at Speedway United Methodist Church is a Thanksgiving service being put on by the community of ministers and all the community will be there. So if you're in the Speedway West Side, you want to come over Sunday night, five o'clock at Speedway United Methodist Church Sunday at five. Uh, write me if you need more information, but all are welcome to that as well. And I wish you the best tonight. Thanks so much for tuning in. God be with you till we meet again. Amen. Amen.